What's up guys, Gaming King 8 back again with another My NBA 2K16 video. And in today's video we are jumping in to the Flash Road to the Championship. You know what's going on right now? The Cleveland Cavaliers did win the NBA Finals against the Golden State Warriors 4 to 3 in the 7 game series. So now here let's check out what's going on. I have game nights full now for this video. I already knocked out the Channing Fry, but then we've got the Timothy Mozgov, Matthew Deladova, Amon Shumpert, J.R. Smith, Richard Jefferson, Tristan Thompson, Kevin Love, Kyrie Irving, and LeBron James with that dope picture. At first, I didn't really like it, but now it's starting to get on me. Um, at first, when I first saw it, I thought it was a support card. But yeah, it's not. So I got the worst spec on... The first card right here, Channing Fry, as you see right there, defense. Um, playoff plus tier right now, but anyways, before we get in the video, I got on a new team, Fear the Grind, which was originally the team I created, then I left, and now I came back. Also started a new season, which I'm starting off with a 4-0 hot start, and also I sniped a playoff card off the auction house right here, the Al Hortford, decent card, has an okay spec at playmaking. So yeah, he is my MVP. I got him for 23k, which is is just amazing. So anyways, here we are, 35 out of 98 on the Timothy Mozgov. We are hot streaking, so that means 14 points every go around. And I'm going for at least the Matthew Deladova playoff card. And I like how this week is all playoff because I just came back and I only had one playoff card before this event happened. And now I'm at three because I got one from this event so far and one sniped off the auction house. And also, shout out in a minute, I'll show you. I got a shout out because someone did donate 1K. 1.4k, actually, 1.4k RP to me, so that I could get enough to snipe that Al Hortford off the auction house. So without him, I wouldn't have it right now, and it might have been gone by the time I earned my own. So, shout out to him. I'm going to show you his Instagram in just a moment after this game, I, I guess. Um, so, yeah. We've got all game nights to play, and hopefully you guys are grinding with me. I know a lot of people are already past the Mozgov, but, you know, I'm trying to slow it down. Not really going too hard right now, but tonight I probably will, because that's when I go the hardest, is at night, because that's when I have more time, and that's when the grind really happens so anyways let's go on instagram right quick and i'll show you who we are shouting out here so let me go here and here he is shout out to holt b s c holt b super card i guess you could say shout out to him on instagram go follow him on instagram please go follow holt b super card Hope BSC. He has great NHL Supercard posts up there. And he is a grinder also. So he's a great guy. And yeah, go check his Instagram out. Really nice dude. So thank you for the RP man. And like I said, go follow him. So now, Road to the Championship, 49 out of 98. Still rolling with the hot streaks, you know. About to run out here in a minute. But I will make sure to put on some more once I'm out. You know, we got to keep up the grind with the 14s if we want to get somewhere, boys. So, tonight I should have at least the first three. Um, so, yeah. should have the first three cards. And that LeBron picture, it's got a lot of talk about it in the community because it's... Um, got two players in it it's got Andre Iguodala and LeBron in it so it's kind of weird looking card and 
I think they should have zoomed more in on the photo to make it cover up more space, but I guess, like I said, I'm not working for Cat Daddy, so I don't know what their limitabilities are, but, or limitations, so, I don't know what they can do and what they can't do. But like I said, weird card, um, I first thought it was a support for some reason. And yeah, I didn't know it was gonna be a whole bunch of playoff cards like it is. I thought it was just gonna be Kyrie, Kevin Love, and LeBron that they showed in the picture, but they ended up adding new playoff Cavalier cards, which is pretty um, nice to see. I love when they add on new cards to the game. Also, in the Skybox, they added some new cards, but I am not a Skybox member, so I cannot show you right now. But yeah, I added quite a few new cards here, and hopefully they'll do more of this Flash play all playoff RTTCs in the future, and I think they will. So now that it's the summer, I'm about a week in already, and I cannot wait to see what they have in store for more events, um, especially a Flash one, because those are the times where I can get easy cards because flash RTTCs are easy well at least the normal ones are I don't know this all playoff one is pretty easy as well so far but I bet it will get harder as you go we're already on legendary tier and it's only the second card so I cannot think about what the LeBron has in store might have some great pros in there and stuff so Comment below what you guys are going for in this Flash RTDC. I know it's going to be a hell of a grind for a lot of people. Only 22 hours, I believe, or 23. And it's just going to be intense towards the end for you guys going for the top reward. Thank God that I'm not really going that hard because I'm only in Playoff Plus and don't have too much in store with my deck. But I'm going to go at least and get the Della Dova. So, yeah. I don't know. I like the Della Dova card. Um, I don't know about you guys. So we hit the car limit. We're going to have to get um, training done here, right here. Um, don't really know what I have to train. Most of my cards are already maxed and stuff. So, yeah. Um, what should I use? What should I use? Um, Ultra Rare. Let's use this Kobe Bryant. Why not? I'm um, not that. I'm going to go back to normal cards. Sorry about this. I know this is going to be boring watching me train up a card, but I will go as fast as I can. And hopefully, they will add the feature that they have in WWE Supercard with the select all button. I hope they add that because I can select all my cards and train them away very quickly in an easy matter of time. And that would be definitely a bonus addition to YouTube videos because it will save you some time and it won't be as boring as it is right here so I think this should be good enough um yeah that should be good enough for this video and it maxes out that Kobe there I have two of them right now the foil and the non-foil so hopefully I can get one more throw that Kobe out and I believe Philly Fox when I was on that account he had the ultra rare pro Kobe as well so yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, gotta thank Sky for letting me on the team. His endgame name is I Sky, I believe. But we got two picks here, and we get an uncommon and a common support. So we got two more game nights for this episode, and I know the game nights are flying by. We're just gonna buy one here because we don't have enough yet for a lot. So we're just gonna do two ones, I guess. Um, one right here, and then one on my next game night. And sorry for the notifications coming in on my videos. I'm just going to swipe them up as fast as I can so that's not in the way of the gameplay of this Road to the Championship. So right now I'm facing Star Singles, Legendary Pros. You know how it is. And yeah, that's about it. Um, I haven't really made too many changes to this Road to the Championship deck besides the playoff cards that I added on into my cards. And hopefully I can rack up a few more with this event going on. So I did pull a wild card also today on the RTTC board. And I've just been doing a lot of great things so far. So I got a new team. 
got me some new playoff cards, pulled me a wild card, and already 4-0 start on my season. I think if everything keeps going, I should be well and good. And hopefully this will make my return even better. So we're going to wrap that up, 91 out of 98, and we should get the Moz Golf in this video. So I did not expect that, but yep, we will be getting it. And I'm actually not even going to buy one more hot streak on this next game night here because I'm only 7 points away from the Mozgolf. As you see right here, 91 out of 98. So we're just going to do the 7 and call it a video. I will train the Mozgolf up and everything in this video for you guys and show you what spec I get. Hopefully I get a better spec because on the first card, as you saw the Channing Fry, I got the worst spec. And it doesn't look like the worst spec on it right there. But trust me, defense is his worst spec. If you go and look at the base stats, that is the worst stat. So that's the worst spec I could have gotten. And hopefully I can get a better one here on the Mozgov. So I did get Al Hortford, and I'm going to get Mozgov. So that's two playoff centers. I don't really know what to think about that, but... Um, earlier today I got the wild card, so hopefully I can get a few more wild cards and eventually pro out all these playoffs. Either that, or I could just save up RP and buy singles of cards I already have, so I could buy two more Al Hortfords, two more, um, Channing Fries, two more Reggie Jacksons, so that I can get those easy pros. I think that would be a bit easier for me than, depending on luck, on the wild cards because my luck's not that good, even though I'm doing pretty good today. So yes, we will screenshot this here in a moment. Hopefully I can get a defensive spec or rebounding, but playmaking is the worst spec, so we're going to take the screenshot there. And as you see, we move on to Matthew Deladova, and he is my goal. Hopefully I can get halfway through him tonight or finish him up tonight. I don't know. Um, how hard the tier is going to be for him. It might be legendary still. It might be star. I don't know yet. We're going to have to see when we get on there. So, yeah, let me go ahead and see what that Mozgov's going. Hopefully defense and rebounding, or at least offense, but playmaking is going to be the worst. Hopefully I got a good one. All right. Now defense is his best spec. Rebounds is second best spec. Offense is his third best spec. At least we didn't get the worst playmaking spec. So what we're gonna do right here is we're gonna train them up, and hopefully I can do this very quickly so you don't have to watch me do this boring stuff. I know it can be boring. So we're gonna max Mozgov out here, and if this doesn't do it, I always have the abilities that I never use. And most people, I recommend training your cards with abilities because usually they don't mean anything. Unless you're really going competitive and hard and your season with abilities to help you. But if not, just throw them on there like that. And we should throw on two more just to be safe. I will screenshot this. Actually, hold on. I'm going to put on the enhancements and then I will max them out. Alright, so the best spec is defense. Defense and rebounding. You know what? Why not? We're going to do a playoff rebounding, and then we're going to do another rebounding, but just a star one this time. Boom. And throw in one more ability to train him fully maxed. Then we're going to take the screenshot and end the video. Wow. Alright. So... His offense is in the 2300s. His defense is in the 2300s. Rebounding's off the charts, almost at 2500. And playmaking at 2209, so that's horrible. But yeah, we're going to take the screenshot. I like the card, and let's see where it ranks with my other playoff cards. It is my... It might even be better than Reggie Jackson, because as you see right here, Reggie Jackson, he does have some charging on him right here. So, yeah, we're going to set him as our MVP and check him out on my team real quick. Didn't mean to click that. Um, team, 
let's see. I was the last member on this team to max out. Okay, that that card looks pretty beast. And Celtics UVA right there above me. He has it as well, so I might keep that. And thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you like that gameplay right here. One minute and 35 seconds till we get one more game night for Della Dova, but I will not be doing that in this video. I will have a video out tomorrow afternoon, probably either right before RTTC is over or when RTTC has ended, and I'll give you guys a quick recap and stuff. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Comment below what you think about the all-playoff cards. A lot of people think that it's unnecessary. A lot of people like it because it's easy to get playoff cards. So comment below what you guys think. And comment below what you guys are going for. I'll see you guys later. And hopefully you enjoyed this video.